Hello and welcome to Heaven's Peacemakers Designs. It's good to have you back again and welcome to all new subscribers. As of today, we are up to 38, 38 subscribers. That is 38 subscribers I never thought I was going to have. So I appreciate each one of you. In the past couple days, I've had a few new ones. and I've had two shout outs this past week. So God has been really good to me and I thank him for that. Um, my last video... I did for my car. I kind of was spontaneous and I felt the Lord asking to see if people had any God winks. And as you know, um, for, um, I think there's even a Hallmark movie out there that I had for Christmas called God wink. But it's when there's circumstances in your life that you know it's only God that can control it. It's not coincidence. Um, I don't think there is really any coincidences. I, I know God's always in charge. Sometimes he allows some ugly things to happen, but that's for our growth. Um, but so I asked, do you guys have any God winks? And I was going to share them. A few people replied, and thank you. Let me see. We uh, had Kathy D, and we had Auntie Vern, Vernon. Uh, I think she just won a um, a giveaway just recently. I want to say bag of day, but it could be the wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not too short. Uh, Stacy Moore and Pam Rivers. And then I have one to share. There's a few, and I kept on debating, but God keeps on giving me um, thinking about this one, so I'll share it. Um, I do not have a good memory. And you may have already read these ones, but I do kind of like want to read them. I have my daughter's old surface in front of me, and I'm looking at the wrong dot. Yes, I need to be looking at my, my camera and not the center of the screen. So yes, I'll move my eyes back here. But I'm gonna be looking at um, my surface. Um, that's where I watch all my YouTube videos when I'm down here um, working. And uh, I just wanna read them because my memory's not good and I don't wanna mess up names. But Kathy D, she's like each day. She says, God gives me a wink every single day when he allows me to wake up in the morning this is the day the Lord has made. Isn't that the truth? Um, it is God who decides if we wake up and uh, take breath in the morning. So I know I'm happy each morning that I wake up where I could be a mom and a wife and a daughter and a friend and a sister. So, um, Kathy, that is, that is one that we need to think of when we count our blessings. And then Auntie Vernon uh, God really... Uh, correct her heart and got her moving and relating to car mechanics um, he works he works in those ways too and she says last week I felt really important to take my car in for a tune-up it was suggested in 2017 but I didn't worry about it when doing the tune-up they discovered I had seal issues and had oil leaking into my spark plugs what could have been a really expensive, unpleasant, and frustrating car problem was fixed. I know this was truly a God wink for me. Have a fantastic weekend. And yes, when you get those urges and they don't go away, especially when they came on, come on strong and sudden, um, that's God saying, hey, I need your attention. Um, and then Stacy Moore. She's been a blessing to her friend. She writes, I feel God blesses me daily, but this week I had, I got to have a friend over. We just got to visit and that was a blessing. She's having some health issues or health problems and I feel God uses me to help educate people. I spend my days researching health and this lady has a tumor and seizures and I have been through this with my husband. Um, I was unable to witness to I was able to witness to her and just be a blessing to me that was a blessing and Stacy um, I'm sorry to hear about um, going through that with your husband but with some of the major uh, life trials in my life I find out that those trials are used so we could be used and be God's glory in helping out others um, helping them through situation so like where you're educating your friend and being there for her 
that is just um you're just being used as the hands of god and i and i thank you for doing that for her and then pam rivers wrote i feel that god helped me with the, my daughter's medical problems and yes god uses us to be his hands and he guides us to help others and i just pray that everything is okay with your daughter and that uh, things will work out um in closing i was looking at some verses and this first jumped out to me uh, joshua 1 9 i'm sorry again i don't have the memory have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and i do not and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go so it's it is so good to know um if you're a believer in christ and you have him as your savior that to know that he is with us he is with us no matter what if we're a believer or non-believer but as being believers um he helps us out in in special ways and a lot of many times we don't even know he's helping us out oh i was supposed to give a god wink i just remembered my son and his family were were down and he um his, my two grandkids, my son and my daughter-in-law were down. And my grandson wanted to play um, a game. So it was my husband, my daughter-in-law, my grandson. They went over to play this uh, game called Five Minute Dungeon. It is a cute game. I didn't play it because I was in my hands and legs were in bad neuropathy and I, I just couldn't focus on anything. But they went over there to our kitchen table and our kitchen table was extended as far as it can with the two leaves in it and they were playing. And uh, all of a sudden we heard cr crash, bang, boom and um, yelling going on, no crying thankfully and here the glides under the glides under the table that pulls the table in and out on the one side the old screws fell out and the table just in the middle just fell down um my granddaughter at that time was leaning on the table in the middle of the table she's almost two and when, when the table went down she went down into the middle of the table but um a few uh bruises on people's legs from the glides but nothing major no blood <laughs> and boy did uh, um, my granddaughter talk up a storm about that table falling apart and um, we put the table upside down and grandpa the next day went out and got new screws and put new screws in all the holes uh, of the table and it is solid as someone mentioned we were glad it didn't happen in the middle of like Thanksgiving dinner or a Christmas dinner when you have I had all my fine china out and all my crystal glasses and all that good stuff and I'm glad it didn't crash but God was good um, no one was hurt and after a while um, we kind of laughed about it but um, I do have video maybe I'll put in a one or two seconds about um, my husband putting the screws in and my granddaughter's trying to help him um, but thank you for coming and visiting. Oh, I felt God leading me. And so I know most people don't do this on uh, YouTube podcasts. But I want to say a, a prayer in closing. I just want to pray. Um, there are so many of us in this crafting community, um, uh, crocheters and knitters and crafters, are going through some major life issues, health issues, um, issues with family, um, mental issues, just uh, social issues. There's just so many issues out there. So, but I'm privileged to be up in it and with all of you ladies. So if you don't mind me praying, I will pray. And if you don't want to be here, feel free to sign off and I'll catch you in the next video. But I, I just, um, I don't have this written down. So I'm going to pray from my heart. Father, I come to you and I thank you for this time. Thank you for letting me be able to do these podcasts and be willing to do them. And Father, I just pray that through these podcasts that I could bring glory and honor to you, that I could use my life experiences to um, 
help and be friends to those who need help and who needs a friend. And Father, I just thank you for all the wonderful women. And um, I haven't come across men on on the channels yet, but just please be with each one, Father. I know my subscribers and I know who I subscribe to. I just pray for all the health issues. There are so many, Father. I just pray for healing touches. I pray for grace each day to deal with what we deal with. And I just pray that everyone gets to feel your presence and know that you're there with them. Let them feel the warmth of your hand on them. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Well, that's it for this video. I'm going to make another one tonight because um, there's a few things I want to show you. And um, I'm thinking, coming up 38, that's 12 away from 50. So I, th everyone does, does giveaways for 50. So, I'll, oops, wrong spot. There we are. And so um, I'm trying to think of something that I could do for a giveaway. So stay tuned. God bless and have a good week.